What's up, y'all? Trill, three L's, trend dollar man. I'm late, man. Um, we already a good few days in the month in October, but this is the battle of the month for September. Um, remember, when I do the battle of the month, it's from the battles that were released in that month, not battles that took place in that month. But anyway, the battle of the month for September is DNA versus Murdoch, man. Um, I chose this battle for a number of reasons, man, because we had some good battles. We had uh, B-Magic versus Bourne on RBE. Another RBE battle was um, Danger Zone versus um, Big Cannon. Like some, um, That's poss possibly a classic. But the reason why I chose, chose this battle, DNA versus Murdoch, is because this battle consisted of a newcomer, um, somebody who the battle rap community is not really too familiar with this battler yet, but... He did his thing in his battle. You can tell he's going. He has potential. He's going to do something in this, um, in the culture. And then we got another person who's a vet, who um, I'm really, I'm really not a fan of too much. But in this battle, he showed why he was the vet. And um, a lot of other people in the culture always feel like he does his thing. Um, but in this battle, he he definitely proved it to me. Now, going first, this was a round one rounder on Capital Battlegrounds. Going first, Murdoch went first, man. And um, when Murdoch goes first, is um, in the beginning, he had um, he had a good start, but I'm like, okay, okay, the um, still still average, nothing spectacular yet, nothing that um has me on the edge of my seat. Um, I don't really see the hype that people are talking about yet but as the as the round went on i started to see it man he had a couple good lines that i wrote down that i um wanted to mention yeah one he was like uh um be the first one to leave you in the yard like fall back because um leaves fall autumn there's a lot of leaves in the yard um i thought that was a good line um off the heezy like hot sizzle i thought that was hot because hot sauce and one um i know everybody I know everybody remembers that. You can't act like you can't remember that. But uh, I like how he used certain references. But um, those lines weren't too crazy, but I, I still appreciated them. Um, but when he started, where it started to get crazy was when um, he had lines where he was like, um, King Kong on the roof with choppers, on the, on the roof with the chopper like hospitals. He started cooking on Ronda Time. He used to do um, spitting that line. Um, but the thing about Murdoch's style is, Murdoch kind of raps at a rapid pace. It's consistent. And um, he raps like he's on an instrumental, man. And usually I hate when battle rappers rap like they're on an instrumental, man. The only style that I really feel like is a dope style, like sound like you're rapping on a beat, is like Big K, um, T-Top. It's a few battle rappers who they have a, a smooth... A smooth pace is not too fast, but it, they have a constant rhythmic flow. But any other flow where it's con you rap it and sound like you're rapping on the beat, I feel like it's um it gets annoying. I feel like you just go ahead and make a song, man. You don't need to be battling. But Murdoch, the way he executed it, it's something about his energy that he um he tweaked it a little bit to make it work for this battle, man. And um I'm gonna have to do my research a little more to see what his other battles is looking like, man. What that sounds like, but um. He also in the middle of his round he had a he had a scheme where he was going into like a deep message he was talking about I think he was talking about Trump but he was talking about like some issues that's going on in life period in society period and then he broke it down he asked a question added some humor into it and was like um y'all know what I'm talking about he's like man I don't even know I don't even get the message I was saying you feel what I'm saying basically I feel like he was um basically putting the play on how is certain rappers out here who they they spit a message in their raps, but sometimes it's like, all right, man, are you really saying anything, or are you just trying to sound like you saying something, or trying to spit a deep message just so the crowd can be on your side? That's what I felt like he was doing. I felt like that was executed well. Um, his style, um, like the one of his last lines, probably like the last stanza. He uh, he said, um, talking to DNA, he was like. Um, I have DNA in his coffin deeper than bronchitis. I th that was dope. I thought that was one of the doper lines out of his whole round. Um, out of both of their rounds, too. I'm not going to say it was the the nicest, but it was definitely in that top, the top few lines. Now, getting into DNA round, man. 
DNA came out and um, basically put to rest any doubt that I had that he can take this battle. Because Murdoch's style, Murdoch's style was real refreshing. I felt like um, it was a little innovative, um, so to speak, because like I said, it sounded like he was rapping to an instrumental and a lot of parts in his round, but he executed, executed it well. But when DNA started to rap, I'm like, okay. Um, DNA started to remind me again of, um, one, he was the DNA that he was when he battled gems. That was another good battle. That battle could have been the battle of the month, too. But um, he reminded me of the battle he had with gems recently. He reminded me of the battle that he, um, classic battle he had with a Disaster. I thought that was dope. Um, but um, he took he took this battle for the simple fact that when he had good bars, a um, couple of his bars um, I liked. He said, "I have this. I keep the string around the barrel like an African drum." I thought that was nice. Um, he says, "Since this kid, since this kid needs stones, now you're in trouble. You're in trouble, kidney stones." I thought that was nice. You can't act like that wasn't fire. Um, and he did what DNA does every battle, what we know DNA to do. He freestyled. Now, sometimes in some battles when DNA freestyles, is not always nice. But this battle, he executed it very well. Um, now, he he um, included some, some of the crowd in his, in his freestyle, right? And then one of his bars, he was just going into his written rounds, and one of the people interrupted him. Now he's like, don't do that, because y'all know how I do. And then he started going in on him. I thought that was dope. And it just, it just, every time I see something like that, it always brings it back to the essence, man. It always, it's always reminiscent of the essence, man. Like I'm at loss for words when I um see battles like these, because like battles like these are what push to, pushes the culture forward. Like, um, if this battle was on a on a bigger um on a bigger scale on a bigger arena or bigger league i don't know if this battle would have been as dope because it was a small room battle it was packed again small room battles you can always feed off the energy of the um crowd if you're a battle rapper and the bat and the crowd can feed off the battle rapper's energy i feel like small room battles are always dope um now uh watching this battle from dna 2 it made me excited about the battle for uh rum nitty that he has coming up on traffic three because when um, URL announced that battle, I wasn't I wasn't too excited about that battle. That's the reason why I didn't do a prediction on that battle. I might go back and do that, but that's the reason why I didn't do it because I wasn't excited about DNA. I know Rum Nitty is going to do what he do, but um, Rum Nitty is going to have a point to prove because he just lost against JC even though he was fired. But um, and DNA watching this battle, if DNA is a DNA that he was in this battle. This is going to this going to um, be a fire battle. Now, um, it's like, what I'm thinking is, because I wanted, I wanted to get this battle to Murdoch, but I have a rule that I battle with myself with. Like, if you a new guy and you battle in an event and you, and you don't clearly beat that vet, then I'm automatically going to give it to the vet, man. Um, even though I felt like Murdoch did his thing, he could have possibly won that. Just because he didn't embody DNA, I can't. I can't give him that win, man. If you coming up against a vet, you gotta clearly beat him. But um, this was a good battle, man. Again, it was on Capital Battlegrounds, man. I'm giving this battle to DNA. This is the battle of the month. Um, again, DNA versus Murdoch. Go watch this battle, man. Right after you clip out of this recap, go watch this battle is dope again on capital battlegrounds let me know how you feel about it after you watch it comment below rate hit that subscribe button true three yo's trillion dollar man y'all peace